Philosopher Tube is obsessed with contra points. Now, the first self evident is all from 4 chance to take with a grain of salt, but they're quite often right, to be fair to him. So basically, the first point is that philosophy has been stealing contra points aesthetic for quite a while. Evidence that has shown is when contra points used to use a lot of LED lighting in their videos to show emotion, and then philosophy tube started using LED lights in their content to show emotion. And then Conjure Point stopped doing this, and then Philosophy stopped doing this. And when Conjure Point started sitting in a fancy chair without any sort of relevant set to her videos, Philosophy Tube started doing this as well. Person who is stammering enough to say that Philosophy Tube was dealing Conjure Point's aesthetic, and then Philosophy Tube basically said a sentence exactly the same way as Conjure Point's. It was basically word for fucking word. There's also a bit of a rift between two of them. ContraPoints would also delete every single tweet that she made that Philosophy Tube would reply to. So as soon as Philosophy Tube replied to her, she would delete the fucking tweet. Contra's subreddit would also delete every single post about Philosophy Tube, no matter what it was, how relevant it was. It could be like fully relevant to ContraPoints, and they would delete it. And then ContraPoints also only ever referred to Philosophy Tube as a colleague never as a friend so i think that's another piece of evidence that they never really got along there's always been a bit of a rift between two of them and then there's the sexual assault allegations which is by far the most serious part of any of this in contrapoints cancelling video at one hour 11 minutes and 20 seconds contrapoints mentions that she could cancel another bread tuber and there's actually some evidence that she was talking about philosophy tube such as this leaked message from discord I'll show that to you here. And some anon on 4chan then posted this. It says, one of Conscious Friends had this on Discord a few months ago. Basically, what happened is Philosophy Tube acted curious about transitioning effects on the body and asked to see Conscious breasts. Conscious obliged because they were friends and then she took it off her top and Philosophy Tube started groping her. That's when Philosophy Tube and Concha stopped talking to each other. I'm so good at reading. It's almost like I'm dyslexic. Crazy. And the nons believe that Philosophy Tube is using the UK shitty trans acceptance as a way to guilt Contra into silence about her sexual assault. There's also some extra evidence that Philosophy Tube is obsessed with Contra. Like when Contra came out as a lesbian, Philosophy Tube had a mental breakdown apparently on her Patreon. <laughs> Now we come to a relevant part, once I said all the fucking evidence and all that shit. So basically, a tweet that Contra put out earlier today confirms that he believes Philosophy Tube was the inner aesthetics, but it doesn't prove the idea of a sexual assault, but I think there's enough evidence to say that, without a shadow of a doubt, Philosophy Tube did sexually assault ContraPoints.